Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at every Tekken game ranked. KO. For this list, we've examined all 12 Tekken games, mainline, spin-off, and even ports, and ranked them all from worst to best. Which Tekken do you believe is the best? Let us know down in the comments as we get ready for the next battle. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 12, Tekken 3D Prime Edition. The Nintendo 3DS seemed like a strong contender for fighting games thanks to the efforts of Dead or Alive Dimensions and Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. Unfortunately, Tekken 3D Prime Edition could just not match that level of quality. While it did an excellent job at maintaining a level of technical competence, Tekken 3D forgot to be more than just a tech demo and launched with very, very little content. On top of that, the online stability was abysmal and there simply wasn't enough to do solo. Plus, what's going on with all the audio? Seems like all we paid for was, again, a tech demo and then a movie. Was that really worth 40, 50 bucks, however much this was? I can barely remember. I repressed this game from my memory. <laughs> Number 11, Tekken 4. Of the mainline Tekken games, just about everyone in the community can agree that the fourth game, man, the fourth game was rough. Like, really rough. We could forgive the visuals in general, after all, everyone was still finding their footing in the more refined 3D gaming space at the time, and wanting to go all out with the technical improvements and physics and what have you. So we can't fault Tekken 4 for aging poorly on visuals and hair physics. No, the biggest problem here was the level design. Various inclines, stairs, structures made it all frustrating as it could fundamentally alter certain hits. Get an inch up! and suddenly lows are mids, and mids are highs, and what have you. At least the Tekken Force mode was kinda cool, but man, it's like for every step forward Tekken 4 made, it made two steps back. Number 10, Tekken. Now there isn't much reason to disrespect the original Tekken, not that you should ever disrespect the original Tekken. After all, it's the first game. Gotta respect our elders. Composed of former Virtua Fighter developers, Tekken was revolutionary and arguably put Sega's fighter to shame with its character design and texture work. So why is it getting slapped so close to the bottom? Well, I mean, just look at it, man. First off, all of the characters look like a bunch of Looney Tunes ready to wallop each other with those outrageously gigantic fists. And of course, the controls simply aren't as responsive as future titles. It's great to revisit every now and again, but the original Tekken, we're not putting this above anything else. Except for 3D and 4. It has historic value. And that's pretty much it. Number 9, Tekken Advance. A Tekken game on the Game Boy Advance sounds like an absolutely dreadful idea, considering the hardware wasn't much different than an SNES. The 3D spaces emulated on this handheld were not true 3D, so how could a Tekken game possibly work? Surprisingly, rather well. Controls were simplified perfectly, stun variations were introduced before becoming a staple in future games, and the visuals turned out far, far better than most screenshots would lead you to believe. For what little Namco had to work with, they delivered something that was truly remarkable for a GBA game. Number 8, Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection. A few years after Advance, PSP owners were given their own version of Tekken 5 that many would argue was more superior to the original. We could certainly see why someone would make that notion. After all, this was a version that was better balanced, threw in handfuls of new moves for the fighters, and offered more character customization. So only at number 8 though? To put it simply, there just wasn't as much content as the PS2 original. If you had the previous version, there just wasn't much reason to buy this slightly expanded iteration unless you really wanted to check out Lily or Dragunov. Dark Resurrection is a great game, but better than the original? Mm, not so sure about that. You win.
Number seven, Tekken 2. Tekken 2 was kind of where the franchise found its identity. Gone were the goofy punches and character models, but in their place came some of Tekken's outrageous attitude. Remember seeing Kazuya turn into devil for the first time? It was freaking insane! And then some of the characters you unlocked consisted of slightly altered versions of the initial roster, brand new characters with their own unique moves, a boxing kangaroo and a velociraptor, a freaking bear, I mean, it felt like Namco just went crazy with the ideas and threw together a wild, brawling party. Sure, the movesets are simpler compared to later titles, but there's a reason why Tekken 2 was one of the first PS1 games to pop up on PS4 and PS5. We wouldn't pay $10,000 for it, but this is miles better than the original Tekken. <laughs> Number 6. Tekken Tag Tournament Tag fighting games are some of the craziest in the FGC, and the first Tekken Tag Tournament is one that is still talked about today. Rather than letting the new tag system dictate how the rest of the game functioned, Namco implemented the tag system as more of an additive. It was still fast and fluid Tekken, but now you had two characters to switch in and out. You could use one for a majority until they got low on health and switch out, or you could try to find openings between combos to tag characters in and out and potentially extend said combo. You could get freaking crazy with it. And Tag Tournament actively encouraged you to find more combos between every combination of characters. It was nuts, man. Number 5. Tekken 6. Tekken 6 is a hell of a game. Despite my grievances with Azazel and that dumb robot Nancy, we don't talk about Nancy, by the way. That's why you didn't see Nancy on our hardest bosses list. We don't talk about her. Tekken 6, regardless, was a real achievement in visuals and innovative features for the franchise. In addition to more realistic character models, tighter controls, and expanded movesets, the sixth core game came with new ideas such as the rage system, bound states, and of course, a handful of new characters with new moves. As for single player content, the scenario campaign was such an awesome way to take our favorite characters through the world in a beat em up gameplay style. Our only complaints with Tekken 6 were the final bosses and the absurdly long load times. Really, the best way to play this game is on Xbox Series XS, where load times are almost non-existent. Number 4, Tekken Tag Tournament 2. The absolute nasty and explosive action of Tag Tournament returns, and it is even wilder than its predecessor. I could barely speak properly, this game is so crazy. Not much had changed between the first game and here, but that's okay, because what Tekken Tag Tournament 2 did come with was a massive roster of fighters to choose from. From characters that originated in the first game to boss characters from past iterations, it felt like almost everybody was here and ready to throw down. On top of that, there was a ton of love poured into the character animations. Just watch a compilation of victory and defeat screens and you'll see what I mean. It was more tag tournament with more love and care, more disgusting combos to discover and abuse, and just simply more good ass Tekken. <laughs> Number 3, Tekken 7. Oh man, we oh, we tried so hard to put Tekken 7 at number 1. We tried really hard, man. Don't get us wrong, we love Tekken 7. I love Tekken 7. It deserves every ounce of praise it has received for its visual fidelity, incredibly balanced gameplay, vast array of content, and how it expanded upon the rage system. The reason why it only earns a bronze medal is for what it didn't accomplish. Most of the cast took a back seat so that the Mishimas could hog the spotlight for the story mode and wedge Akuma into the lore. There were a couple of times where DLC characters nearly destroyed the online scene and broke the game. Just look at what happened when Leroy was thrown in. Man, I can't believe online almost died that day. And the biggest crime of all? My wife, Christy Montero, is nowhere to be found. What gives Harada? Still. You should definitely go play Tekken 7 for what it does accomplish. It's just one of the best fighting games ever made, honestly. <laughs> Number 2, 
Number two, Tekken 3. Round one, fight! Yes, of the three original PS1 Tekken titles, the third one managed to shoot straight to silver medal. To this day, Tekken 3 somehow manages to play as well as it did back in 1996. The controls are still immensely satisfying and responsive. Every song hits the moment it starts up. Just look at Jin's theme. My god, I love that. And the visuals are some of the best we had ever seen from a PS1 game. The only gripe we have is how small the roster was. We were hoping for more, but we'll just assume there wasn't enough disc space or not enough time to throw in more fighters. Plus, Gon was just bullshit. But regardless of all that, Tekken 3 was the best of the original PS1 games. Number 1, Tekken 5. After the flub that was Tekken 4, one would wonder if Namco would make the same mistakes twice with a new entry. On the contrary, Tekken 5 was a marvelous return to form, keeping floors even while still reusing ideas like wall damage and stun variations from Tekken 4 and Advance respectively. But there was more than just the perfect fighting action. Character models and environments were refined and looked significantly better than any of its predecessors. Every character had their own story mode with an intro, mid-boss, and ending cutscenes. Jin Kazama got his own beat-em-up adventure game in the Devil Within mode. And Tekken 5 came with the arcade versions of the first three games. And the soundtrack? Go listen to Moonlight Wilderness, Crimson Sunset, Streets, and The Finalizer. All of this combines into the best Tekken game ever made. I'm sorry, Tekken 5 is the better one. I know everyone loves 3 and everyone loves 7. 5 is the best. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.